Hi, this is Stefan from SK Mouthpieces in New York City. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, this video today is about a uh, vintage double ring mouthpiece from the 50s. First, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, give me a thumbs up and also remember to click subscribe to the channel so that you can get notifications for upcoming videos. This is an Autolink Super Tone Master double ring. And this particular one is uh, from after the production moved to Florida. The New York version of this mouthpiece had a much longer bite plate on it. It's a really beautiful mouthpiece and actually really good condition. The early ones were marked with um, serial numbers. Or, uh, it's a 76 thousandths of an inch and the client wants it opened up to 110 thousandths of an inch so it needs to be opened quite a lot. But the first thing I do is that I, I just measure the facing what's on the mouthpiece already and I'm fast forwarding through this uh, so you can see the process a little bit and as you can see towards the tip here now the tip is really crooked here and that's because it hit the floor so now I'm writing down the numbers the corrected numbers for facing that would work for 110 opening and over here on the left I'm writing down the gauge thickness uh, in um, so that's thousands of an inch so the last one is a hundred and nine thousandths of an inch uh, here you can see where it hit the floor whatever it hit so it's kind of gotten crooked diagonally across to the right tip corner here so I'm showing a lot of re aspects to refacing today in this video if you have a mouthpiece that you think that you might want to have refaced, you're welcome to uh, contact me through my website and we'll set up a time to have a conversation. I use a needle file to see if the baffle has the correct height and it actually is the way that it's supposed to be here because it's sliding on the inside of the tip rail. If it scratches the baffle, which it will later, then uh, it's too high. Uh, but the first thing I do here is I, um, I, I adjust the tip to start matching the read and some of this stuff that I do in the beginning is just kind of roughly putting putting things in place so that I have um, uh, some good anchor points for measuring the mouthpiece and now I'm going to bend the mouthpiece open definitely not something for the faint-hearted and you have to be very careful because you can actually damage or break the mouthpiece like this so it's a very nerve-wracking process and um, and you be, have to be careful. You can see now that um, the needle file is now scratching on the inside of the tip rail right here. So there's a, you can see the mark going across here. So that means that the baffle needs to come down. Before it was fine, but now with the bigger opening, it's, it's too much. And then the next thing is I do is that I'll work on the table. So it just uh, gets a pass and you can see here that there's some unevenness in the in the table and here down that heel mark there is still open. It doesn't really matter that much but um, and it is still there after the mouthpiece is done. Still working on the table and now you can see that the table is flat here. And that little corner down there is still showing, but that's okay. It doesn't make much of a difference, or any difference, actually. From here, I go to the facing. So I start putting the facing on, and these are the numbers here on the right side that I'm going to start um, putting on the mouthpiece. So I'm fast forward forwarding through the process here as well. A lot of this is, is like uh, putting the numbers on correctly but there are also little inaccuracies symmetrically that I'm taking out and here I'm going to start shaping the baffle and this is still like the early stages in the side rails I'm filing them out from the inside here I'm a little further ahead and you can see that little like moon shaped thing at the tip is still there eventually it's going to come out. I'm filing in the sides from the outside and all this is still part of the like initial like shaping of the mouthpiece. 
So now I'm, I'm sanding on the inside here just to get the worst of the file marks out. And now we're back to measuring, measuring, measuring. Everything looks better. So I'm just going to clean out the outside a little bit here to make it look a little nicer. I'm not going to have to come back to this and I'm going to, you know, polish it. It looks a lot nicer. If you enjoyed this video, please have a look at some of my other videos. You can have a look up here on the left. There should be a couple of videos that you can see. Thanks for watching. See you next time.